Hi everybody, Emily Chamin here for Hip Kick Club and today I'm showing you my take on the challenge which is to lift this gorgeous layout by Andrea Lake. And I'm using the September kit, so I have every single add-on of the September kit to play with. And if you subscribe to the kit, remember that you get a 15% discount, so it really make, um, make it all great value for money. Um, you really get tons in those kits. So, I'm using the September kits uh, for this layout and I started with this uh, ledger kind of uh, pattern paper and I punched aside to create more of a notebook kind of look and I went on to place it onto my uh, gene effect uh, denim effect paper and the reason why I'm not getting the denim effect is simply because I'm gonna stitch on it later on and you will see so there we go we are sewing on it and I'm starting by sewing the edges just to uh, square it and now I'm drawing a circle in the middle and for that I'm using a red color pencil um, simply because I'm using red thread and if you use the same color pencil and you do it lightly still but if you use the same color pencil as your thread it makes it invisible um, and it saves you from having to erase if you had used a normal carbon pencil um, and potentially damaging your thread so I've been pulling and pulling and pulling and that's why I'm fast forwarding you through this process through all the kits and once I've selected a good pile I've started to build up some leaves so these leaves are from the die cuts and those die cuts are free to any subscribers every month you get free uh, die cut um, sorry not die cut excuse me free cut files uh, with the kits and I'm using the leaves cut files uh, for these these are absolutely gorgeous and I used them for my previous layout and these are the leftovers from my previous layout I may as well not have anything go to waste and I thought it would work perfectly for this page so I'm curling each side of the leaves just to give it more of a natural look that's something that I love to do I love to give it volume and a bit of a more natural look by curling it and um, making it come to life I'm then mounting this circle from Pinkfresh Studio to double-sided sticky foam pad and placing it as so. I love the repeat of the circle with the hello fall with the circle that I have stitched on the background, that kind of wreath uh, look. Once um, I layered a little bit, I couldn't quite deal with the, the mess that pile up at the bottom. So I thought, right, I need to come in and I need to stick my photograph mount it start to move forward so that I can clear that pile and um, it was starting to get a little bit difficult and you'll see there'll be a quite a few slides of screen simply because I'm spending more time clearing my desk <laughs> as you can see I spend more time clearing my desk um, than I have actually done creating this layout because this layout came together very very quickly it's just a clearing the desk in between and uh, once I've selected what I want to use that is taking the most time. I am adding a few florals. I've added that layer jean pocket. I, I love those layer details and those uh, super creative pieces uh, which are exclusive to the kit. It just make your layout stand out. And I'm then playing with all the different florals, all my different uh, leaves from the cut files and repeating that layering at the bottom just as Andrea had on her layout and what I wanted to really lift off her layout were the circle, the, that wreath but um, I also wanted to lift that opposition of the top and top left bottom right because it's something that I really love. I also wanted to uh, repeat what she had done. She, she didn't use any white cast stock on the background and that's something I wanted to repeat so I used the pattern ledger for that. Once I had found a few placements for some of my embellishment at the bottom I decided to put the photo down 
and I added those that flower at the, at the bottom. It had the same colour as the dress that Sophia is wearing in that photo and it just worked perfectly to make uh, the photo work with all the florals. So the florals are more yellowy, mustardy and orange and all of those colours are in the background of the photo. I just wanted to integrate the pink half her dress to the layout and it just helped to make it all work together. This is where I had a little bit of a stumble. I didn't quite like that gap underneath the, the bottom left of the photo and I looked for a little while what could work there. Um, I'm kind of ignoring it and then going back to it, ignoring it, going back to it. Um, simply because I'm, I'm struggling with what to place in that area um, in the meantime <laughs> clearing the desk clearing the desk and I decided to just go on with putting my title down I use one of the puffy stickers um, exclusive from the hip kit club and same again same color as the flower the flower and Sophia's dress I love the camera as well because that camera is same again, that same kind of pink and I love the fact that it just goes with the fact that it was a, a photo shoot session that um, I did uh, with uh, with Sophia. Um, she's <laughs> being less and less um, accepting of my photo shoot and she's done to say no photo mommy but um, yeah, I'm still trying to, to grab the odd photos because I just love taking photos of her. I then finished my layout with those beautiful clear see-through stickers. Um, it adds a little dramatic um, contrast which I thought uh, was missing because it's black whereas all the rest of the layout is fairly light and almost whitewashed and with those little black uh, leaves it just helps and the little wooden heart just added that extra little details that really work so there you go i hope you enjoyed this video and please don't forget to check out the gorgeous kits because they are amazing and you don't want to miss out so thank you very very much for watching don't hesitate to leave any comments, any questions that you may have and see you soon. Bye.